to one waterfall. Hey there, Osh team. How would you like to be a professional illustrator and bring in the cash for your family? How would you like to enter the 2020 Young Illustrator Award? If the answer is yes, then let's go back in time. In this handy tutorial, I'll be showing you some drawing techniques you can use at home. You'll need a good sharp pencil, a rubber which you'll be using a lot, some coloured pencils, look for a set with good skin tones, and as many black pens as you can find. So as you can see, team, I'm just, it's really important that you start off with a pencil uh, because you will need to rub things out and make changes. And by the way, I had to look up uh, on Google Images um, somebody wearing a suit so I could get this all this bit right. So fill in a few more details. He's coming out of his, Time Rabbit is coming out of his hole, we can see now. And I started to do some, uh, some guide lines for my lettering. Look, kids, I've made the classic mistake. I haven't left myself with enough room here for the whole word rabbit. This always happens. All I can say is get the rubber and you have to start again. So team, now you can really see the importance of starting off with a pencil. You're going to make, lo make lots of mistakes, but that's not a problem. You can rub them out and you can get things the way you want it. You, you want your character to really fill up the page. You want your title to be big. And I'm going to start on my background now when I finish these letters. Okay. So I've nearly finished with the, uh, with the pencil part. I haven't actually done that much detail. There will be more detail that goes in when I start with the black pens. Uh, the one thing I will do now though, is I will look up uh, a picture of the planet Earth so I can accurately draw Earth. Um, hey team. Um, so now we're ready to, we've done all our drafting and now we're ready to start with the black pens. I've got quite a, all the black pens I could find and some of them have thick tips which will be useful, some even thicker, this one, this one. So as many as you can find, and then we're ready to start doing our outlines in black. So. There we go, team. So as you can see, We've pretty much finished with the black pens for now. We've added a lot more detail. We've given uh, Time Rabbit some texture. We've put folds and suggested patterns, just very in a low key way so it doesn't stand out too much. So the thing that really stands out is Time Rabbit himself. Uh, we're just about ready to start with the colored pencils. We'll be using darker colors generally for time rabbit because he's in the foreground and he is the main point of interest and we'll be using lighter colors generally for the background we'll be using lighter colors but first we need to get the rubber again and rub out all the uh, gray lead pencil that we can is this the only one we've got jordan uh yeah uh, this is i don't know about <laughs> this I guess it works. What happened to my good one? I don't know. So that's what it looks like now with all the pencil, with all the grey lead pencil rubbed out. And now we're ready to start with the coloured pencils. So you'll notice that I'm following the sort of grain. I'm using, I'm making my strokes show the shape of his overcoat. And I've only used the one colour so far, but you can see that I'm using the colour not just to colour in, but to create more texture. All right. Hey there, kids. So this is one we're working on at the OSH. And I've got a couple of the, uh, the kids who are attending school still uh, in person to help with the filming here. And this is one that we've been working on at OSH. We only wish you guys were here to we were here to help and to do one too. There we go, kids. So that's the the uh, one that I've made today uh, with the kids from Osh. Uh, we missed you at the Osh. Um, I'm thinking I might not colour this one in. I like it like that. So 
See how I'm not just colouring in, I'm sort of pressing harder sometimes and going softer at other times to create a texture. And I will be coming in later with the dark, darker colours to subdue all this. It looks a bit too light at the moment, but don't worry. Got a pretty bad sense of fashion. Actually, he looks a lot like you. He's from the future. He's, um, he's... That's what people are gonna. That's how people are gonna dress. Oh, so they'll into... all have the same fashion sense as you. <laughs> no, I wouldn't. I wouldn't wear that tie. I've seen you wear a tie that's almost the exact same as that. <laughs> this is a really important stage with the black pencil. I'm gonna go from the arm down, down, and I'm just gonna spread out, and you'll see what I mean at the end. Look how detailed that arm is. It almost looks real. It's getting there. I'm really starting to see shadows now. Is that looking good? It's pretty good. Hang on, does he have a bunny tail? That's Time Rabbit's darkest secret, Georgia. <laughs> a pom-pom bunny tail. So you can see I've just given everything another layer with the, of shade. Everything has shade. There's light and there's shade. And so I've given um, the shade is really important and it makes it look a lot better. Can't do much about his tie. That's still ugly, but... Um, with the moon, I'm just going to use um, just the black pencil for now and I might add a colour. So this time I'm doing it the other way around and I want to go for a sort of a black and white movie effect um, and just pick, really make these craters look three-dimensional. The light's coming from this way so there'll be sh shadows on this side and light on this side with a bit here you so this is called monochrome where it's just black and white with the flying saucers i'm going to go i'm going to follow the sort of the they're smooth and these are rough so i'm going to go with long strokes that suggest that it's a smooth metallic object rather than just the rubbery crisscross that we've got here it's going to be not a bit neater and make them look smooth and I'm just giving these sources just the faintest purple, purple, purple tinge here, just so that they you can they look just a little bit different from the moon. They've got this, they're similar colours, but we're just giving them a little highlight, which you can barely notice. Uh, what's this, Georgia? Is this your entry for the 2020 Young Illustrator Award? Yep, it's a picture of a dragon for my mum's Mother's Day. So I've built up the blue a little bit more. Then for the white, uh, which is cloud, uh, which is very reflective, I've just gone with the, with the rubber just a little bit to make some, some white areas. These yellow areas are deserts. So as I've said before, the sun's coming from this way, the light's coming from this way. Everything has a light and dark. If you look at your own hand, you can see that everything that is solid and three-dimensional has light areas and shadowy areas. Our light areas for the lettering will be highlighted with yellow and the shadowy areas will be highlighted with pink. Okay, now it looks, it's starting to look okay, but it just still looks too bright and we've got a real problem here because space is dark. So I've decided instead of using a black pencil, I'm actually going to use black textures for the background to make all the colours stand out a lot more. You'll see what I mean. I've tested these two textures. This one's pretty good for colouring in, but there's a lot to colour in there. So I'm going to keep testing and it looks like this one's going to be a lot better for colouring in a lot. I only do something like this if you're sure you can do the whole thing. This is going to probably take a good half an hour or so. I'm going to go my edges first 
and you can see already how that's really... You've got to be very slow. Yep. You don't want to mess it up. Yep, and it's really making everything stand out. You can see straight away that everything's going to stand out a lot more. Righto team, so you can see that it's starting to look really good. It doesn't quite look like a comic book cover though. Uh, the style is different. If you look at any com comic book cover, you'll notice thicker outlines. So I'm now going to get my Artline 210, which is an excellent drawing pen, and I'm going to start just going, doing some more of these outlines to make it look more like a comic. team I've gone over some of those outlines again just to make it look a bit a little bit crisper to make some things stand out a bit more the things that are important which is always going to be the main character to stand out a little bit more in our example comic you can see that the artist has used quite a lot of black ink and that outline is super important here's Georgia using some of the techniques we've discussed today she's started off with an outline in pencil grey lead pencil, then she's done, uh, gone over that with black pen when she's happy, now she's starting to fill in the colours with coloured pencils. And just remember team, if you would like to enter one of your drawings in the 2020 Young Illustrator Award and win cash and prizes for your family, then just take a photo and send it in to the OSH email. That's all for now team. Stay cool till after school.